Well, a couple times a year, we get a little visit from one of our very good friends. He is, uh, well, he's a world traveler. In fact, he's been to every country in the world, but seems to just keep on coming back to Las Vegas. Why? Because he likes Sean and I. That's why Lee Abamonte joins us now from his hotel room at Circa. Hello, Lee. How are you? Hey, how's it going? H how are you? We're, you're in the, you're in town, right? Where you're, we're, you're at a... Circa? Yeah, I'm in, I'm in Circa last night, a ate at uh, Barry's Downtown Prime last night, loved Ooh. it. Uh, it's my first time down here at this hotel, just checking out downtown. I never stay downtown, so I figure why not? Yeah, it's definitely something to explore. And Circa, God, even just the outside of the building, the, the structure is so gorgeous. Um, hey, you know, we brought you on today. We want to talk, of course, we love Las Vegas, but we want to talk about travel in 2022. I know you yes. put a lot of thought into this. Tell us what's on your agenda and what do you think some of the trends and concerns are going to be? Well, I think just like the last uh, almost two years now, I mean, it's going to be kind of pandemic dependent, right? So just keep an eye on restrictions and what's open, what's not, because it's super confusing and with all these variants and everything like that continually coming out, it's really hard to stay on top of it. So what I'm basically been doing is staying close to the US, Mexico, Canada, Western Europe, just because uh, if something were to happen, it's easy to get home. And uh, those are pretty much the places you can rely on. Whereas I was planning to go to Australia in December for the Australian Open tennis. And it's just like crazy, right? Because of all the uh, restrictions and you don't know what's going to happen. And with the uh, Omicron variant, things are just kind of up in the air. So I'm just kind of sticking closer to home and traveling a ton in the US too. Not a bummer. You know, I've, I've, I've always wanted to go to Australia and I've, uh, I guess, you know, maybe a little bit longer for there. Japan is another one. Maybe just yeah. waiting a little bit longer to be able to make those trips. Uh, how? What's the hassle? By the way, I just, I'm sorry, 2014. Remember this year? This is great. Uh, oh, what, what's, what's the, what's the hassle too. like? What's the hassle like just getting around in these other countries right now? Well, I was just in Europe for about three weeks, and honestly, it was really no hassle. The only time I was really hassled, I went to a soccer game in Portugal, and I had to get a, a, a test just to get into the stadium, which is fine. I don't really care. Uh, but at the same time, the biggest hassle rel uh, it lays in just actually getting there. So like figuring out what you need to do, uh, whether you need a test just to get on the plane, if you need to, you know, if there's any quarantine requirements or what's needed for you to check into a hotel. Uh, so that's the, uh, the thing that's the hassle. And it's always a lot more complicated in research than it actually is in reality. But it's just overwhelming mm -hmm. to people, including myself, because it's just annoying because you think you know everything and then all of a sudden you know nothing, you know? <laughs> Yeah, the rules change. Absolutely. I'm just curious on a, on a practical note, like when you you pack for a trip, how many masks are you bringing at this point? What what has been your kind of mask protocol? Do you, do you switch every day? What do you do? I just wear the same mask. I mean, I've been wearing the, you know, not the same mask, but, uh, you know, I have a, a box of them. <laughs> Gross, I, I lose them a lot, you know, like probably everyone else does, right? Masks are kind of like the new chapstick, right? You just constantly lose them. Um, but yeah, I just bring uh, I just bring a handful and then like any hotel will also have them for you. And like if you forget one or lose one or whatever. So I'm not really too worried about that, but I definitely always have a couple on me. Uh, how about uh, any inter 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 oh, sorry is another is a 2007 uh, 2007 uh, any uh, any other international where where where's somebody that you'd like to go that you're going to have to delay to 2023 and beyond yeah, you mentioned Japan. Um, they just closed again for the uh, Omicron variant. And that's one of my favorite countries and one I'm dying to go back to. But uh, I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon. Obviously, with the Olympics coming up, uh, everybody was looking at China. And uh, that's a no-go zone, at least as of now. And New Zealand was planning on reopening in February. So I was going to do an Australia in January, then New Zealand in February trip. But I don't think that's going to happen just because everything is is totally up in the air. So it's just kind of wait and see. Uh, like with Mexico, the Caribbean, Canada and Western Europe, you pretty much know what you're getting. So that's kind of what I'm limiting myself to right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, even Africa, uh, I just have a couple people on uh, my Instagram or whatever say that they had to cancel some Africa trips because of the Omicron variant, obviously, and, and the threat of potentially being locked out or locked in. So, um, you know, it's just it's just a big hassle. Yes. But at the same time, it's, it's very doable, too. You just have to, you know, stay within uh, reason and uh, maybe put off that exotic trip uh, for another year or two. 
Yeah. This is my 2013 hat, by the way. It's 2013. It's another great year. Yeah, you have he, any changed, he changed his hat again. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I, got, I got more. I got one more if you want. JJ, if you want to for just a moment, you can. I tell you what, Lee, uh, next time you join us, um, you know, next time you come into town, I know you'll you'll come back and give us some updates. Your Instagram is a fascinating follow, by the way. It's really pretty crazy, uh, the places that you've been. Sean. <laughs> Nice Poor day. Guy. Sure. He thinks he looks good in the hat. <laughs> I do. Lee, it's great seeing you, buddy. Welcome to town. Bye. We missed you. You too, guys. Thank you. All right. Lee Abamonte. You can find him online. <laughs> LeeAbamonte.com. <laughs> He's been everywhere, and he wants to go everywhere again. And you should go along the ride with him. Follow him on social. Just take off the hat.